16.6c Rational Equations Extraneous Solutions. Because we are working with fractions, the denominator cannot be equal to zero. Okay, it's one of the things I've been repeating over and over again. So what we're talking about is that if we had x plus 3 in the denominator, x could not equal negative 3 because it would make the denominator equal to 0. If we get that, that x equaled 3, then it would not be a solution. And so we would eliminate that particular solution. So let's look at example 1 here. Well, first thing I need to do is I need to factor this one polynomial. And we're looking at factors of 32 that add up to be 12, and I would say that that was going to be 8 and 4. So our LCD then, we're going to multiply by x minus 8, x minus 4. Okay, so we're going to take x times x minus 4 minus 2 times x minus 8 equal to negative 3x plus 56. So now we have x squared minus 4x minus 2x plus 16 equal to negative 3x plus 56. We'll combine our like terms here. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 16 equal to negative 3x plus 56. We'll move everything over. that's going to give us x squared minus 3x minus, looks like 40, okay, equal to 0. That'll factor really easy. So we're going to get x minus 8 and x plus 5. So that means that we're going to get x equal to 8 and a negative 5. But notice that if we plug 8 in up here, that you have 8 minus 8 would give you 0, which anytime you have 0 in the denominator, we get undefined, so that means 8 is not a solution. So again, 8's not the solution, so we have only x equal to negative 5. So in our second example here, looks like we need to do some factoring. We're going to get x minus 4, x minus 2. So when we are multiplying our whole equation by x minus 2, x minus 4. So we're going to take x times x minus 4 plus 2 times x minus 2 equal to 4x minus 12. So now we have x squared minus 4x plus 2x minus 4 equal to 4x minus 12. So we now have x squared minus 2x minus 4 equal to 4x minus 12. So we'll subtract 4x from both sides and add 12. So we now have x squared minus 6x plus 8 equal to 0. That means we get x minus 4 
x minus 2 equal to 0. So that means x equals 4 and 2. If we go back into our original equation, 2 plugged into here would give us 0. 4 plugged into here would give us 0. So that means we have no solutions. They do not exist.